Prima di tutto grazie. Grazie. Sounds like positive applause, but there is fresh political turmoil in Italy. The country's Prime Minister, Mario Draghi, has resigned. His coalition government collapsed when key officials abstained from a confidence vote. CBC's Megan Williams is on the story live from Rome. And Megan, I mean, Italy is used to short-lived governments. How much of a surprise, then, is the fall of this one? Well, that's right, Samantha. I mean, this is the 67th government uh, since the end of World War II. On average, they last a bit more than a year. Um, but I have to say, I think this one was a surprise. Mario Draghi is this well-respected former central banker. He was seen uh, as coming in. He's not an elected uh, uh, MP. He, he's somebody who came in, who was brought in uh, to try and help Italy come out of the uh, pandemic crisis to solve some structural problems that Italy really needs to solve to modernize, uh, to get the economy going, uh, to to get way more energy efficient and increase its uh, improve its infrastructure. So this was the guy who was brought in to provide stability, and he he did until uh, last week when one of the coalition members, this is a coalition government of all different sort of political stripes, the five stars. Um, they decided that they would abstain from uh, an important vote. Now, that, that, that vote passed. This was a, a big package uh, that was supposed to help the poorest in Italy. Uh, but the fact that they didn't take part in that vote really bothered uh, Mario Draghi, and he said he would uh, um, go resign, and he did last week. The president didn't accept it. He said, go back get more support. He tried to do that this week. Two more parties abstained, center-left and left-wing, oh, sorry, center-right and right-wing parties. So uh, now we're at this situation where we're probably going to elections. And, and that's what I was going to ask about next. I mean, look ahead. What does this resignation mean then for Italy? Well, it means elections at a really terrible time. Italy traditionally does not have elections in the fall. That's when it has to pass its budget. Uh, Italians are, you know, probably going to go to vote sometime, anytime mid-September to early October. It's looking, it's looking like at this point. But you know, it's it, it, it's a time when Italy was supposed to get its act together to access another big chunk of European Union the recovery fund. Uh, Italy has played a, a central role in, in uh, propping up or, or leading, leading the support for Ukraine. So it's affected a lot of not just domestic politics and, and, and economics, but also European-wide politics. And it's really not what Italy needs at this point. And a, a lot of people are very upset, except the far right, which is in the best position probably to win the elections in the fall. We'll talk again, Megan. That's CBC's Megan Williams in Rome.